A dog knocked a goat right out of the world's attention today. In a masterpiece of propaganda timing, the Soviet Union announced it had launched Sputnik No. 2, carrying a live dog. This is reportedly history's first space travel. First, they hurled poor Albert up on a V2's converted spire, reaching for that god who'd lost the Jews to fire. Like a curve across the earth in her metal carapace until all batteries failed, she howled alone in space. The Yanks launched Gordo, who soon became a monkey ghost when his leaky capsule sank far from the forest coast. Ape Ham touched heaven's face. On landing, nearly drowned. Afterwards, recovered, ate oranges on the warship's yawing ground. In the Russian Bion, tortoises, rats and fungi, rhesus monkeys, newts and fruit flies flew as high. France preferred launching cats. Felix soared from Guiana. Nassau tried insects, frogs, microbes, and other fauna. In the wreckage of Columbia, they found C. elegans alive in a metal box, formed of several generations. No trace of the astronauts, but the weightless worms in their uniquely evolved forms deciphered the human genome. After the O-rings, after the fires, walking in space, and in the dust, after Yuri, after Buzz, and all the flyers, think of those who died for us.